The granddaughter of a Chinese sporting legend has made history at the Tokyo Olympics, while a 12-year-old has won a silver medal at the skate park. For more, let's head to sports reporter Jonathan White in Tokyo. Johnny, you're at the athletics this evening and all eyes are on a Chinese heptathlete that actually used to represent Canada. Yeah, Jung Nin Ali, as she's known uh, now, she is a naturalized Chinese athlete. Um, she was known as Nina Schultz when she uh, used to represent Canada. She won a silver medal in the Commonwealth Games for them, uh, where she came second to Katarina Johnson Thompson of uh, Great Britain, who is also in the heptathlon right now. Um, so, Jung, she is 23. Her grandma used to represent China. Uh, she was a high jumper. She was the first world record holder from China. Um, but she never made it to the Olympics because China was either boycotting it or she fell foul of uh, the authorities. Um, but now her granddaughter has made it to the Olympics um, and she made history today as China's first naturalized track and field athlete. There's been a lot of them in football in recent months and years, um, but this is the first one in athletics. And we will see another in six months time in the winter games with Eileen Gu or Gu Ailing as she's known. Um, so yeah, changing times for China. Yeah, and it seems like people in China, at least on Weibo, are getting behind her. Oh yeah, they're big fans, especially of uh, uh, her tattoo, which says, uh, do your best. Um, and she's doing her best. She's 10th at the moment after three events. We've got another one to come here shortly. Um, and then it'll all be done tomorrow night with the 800 meters. Uh, hopefully she can get a medal in the meantime. And a 12 year old has picked up a medal at the skate park today. It seems like they're getting younger and younger for the medalists. Yeah, so a 13-year-old won gold the other day for Japan um, in, the sh in the street and then in the park today, in the women's park final, Kokona Hiraki won a silver. Uh, she's 12, she only turns 13 at the end of the month. Um, and a 13-year-old, Sky Brown from Britain, uh, she won the bronze. Is there an age requirement for people entering the Olympics? Because 12 is very, very young. Like, how young can it go? So it depends on the sport. Gymnastics, there was a lot of... Uh, controversy in recent years because you know certain countries maybe uh used younger athletes and they said they were um now the limit for for gymnastics is 16 years old or they have to be turning 16 in that calendar year um but it's not the same in everything the, the syrian table tennis player hen zaza was the youngest person here she's 12 years old um and then there was other people in the in the table tennis who were knocking 60. um there's a 14 year old diver chuan hong chan from china um, she's already won a gold. She may well win another one. Um, and then at the other end of that, the very oldest competitor here is Mary Hanna of Australia in the equestrian, who's 64. Although you could argue that the horse is doing a lot of the work there. And uh, we've seen Sarah Lee, Hong Kong Sarah Lee in action today. Yeah, finally, um, Sarah Lee made it onto a bike. Um, she came through in the end, but she did it the hard way. Uh, she had to come through the repercharge and she even came from behind in that. But the important thing is she's through. You know, this is a medal hope for Hong Kong and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, it could be a start of another unprecedented day for Hong Kong. And um, what can we look forward to tomorrow at the Games? Well, Sarah Lee is in action in the cycling. Um, and then we've also got the Hong Kong table tennis team, the women's team who are in action against Germany in the, in the bronze medal match. Um, and hopefully they can beat the Germans. They haven't had it so easy against the Germans in recent years, but this is a chance to get revenge for Rio, where the Germans going on to win a silver, um, knocked the Hong Kong team out in the quarterfinals. So fingers crossed there's a medal or two for Hong Kong tomorrow. Yep, let's hope so. Johnny, thank you very much for joining me and talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.